Hi everyone, it's Naomi Kanaika from Encouragement from the Word of God. Happy Monday to you all. It's a beautiful spring day and the birds are chirping and it's almost very good weather is coming. It's still a little cold today but I love the snow is melted and I can see the birds singing songs of praise to our God. I want to talk to you today about the <clears throat> elevated posture of faith. So today the word is taken from Acts chapter 4. If you read Acts chapter 4, it is jam-packed with so many messages that we can learn. But we see uh, the disciples, John and Peter, they uh, were able to be used by God mightily. In chapter 3, we see the lame man who was lame from birth is healed when they spoke to them for healing. And Jesus healed them. And everyone, the high priest, the captains, and the leaders are all wondering what happened. And they see this man who was from birth lame is walking and leaping and praising God. So they bring Peter and John, John and they question and uh, they say to them, be quiet. We don't want you to speak about this name that you're speaking. Do not speak about Jesus again. We will let you go, but we want you not to speak about Jesus again. <clears throat> but we can see that Peter and John, they are bold. And Peter, who was afraid to speak to the high priest before, who was denying Jesus, speaks up and tells the, the people that we have to submit to authority that is from heaven. We have to give an account to what God is asking us to do, not what people are asking us to do. And they are bold enough to say that. And we can see that they have been let go and Peter and John, they come to the disciples together. And the first thing that they do is they pray, pray to God and they praise God. So the elevated posture of faith is so vivid here you can see it clearly sometimes let's say when we face persecution when we face troubles when we face storms the first thing that we can when we pray to god it will be saying god help me god solve my problem god help this situation see my difficulty see my sadness see my pain in my heart that is what we usually do when we go to God in prayer. We bring our troubles to God. We bring our worries to God. But what Peter and John, who was almost been to, sent to prison, they escaped that and they were not escaped with a goodbye of, uh, but threat, threatened them not to speak about Jesus. But Peter and John, when they meet the disciples, when they pray to God, we can see the way they go, talk to God is so completely different. We're going to read that from Acts chapter 4 today. So if you uh, turn to Acts chapter 4, on their release, Peter and John went back to their own people and reported all that the chief priests and the elders had said to them. When they heard this, they raised their voices together in prayer to God. So let's see how they prayed. They said, Sovereign God, they said, You made the heavens and the earth, the sea and everything in them. You spoke by the Holy Spirit through the mouth of your servant, our father David. Why do nations rage and the people plot in vain? The kings of the earth rise up and the rulers band together against the Lord and against his appointed one. So that's the prayer that they spoke about. They spoke about saying, God, you are the one who made the heavens and the earth and the sea and everything in them. They prayed to God and spoke about the psalm that David spoke about. And they said, Father, you made the heavens and the earth and the sea. There's nothing impossible for you. You see that we have been released by the high priest, but 
they have not released us with a goodbye but released us with a warning god this this big trouble that is ahead of us persecution that's that is ahead of us but lord with gratefulness with with thankfulness with this posture of gratefulness we are speaking to you we are praying to you so we can learn much from this few lines we can learn that whenever we go to god when we bring our troubles and worries to god we can come with that posture of gratitude and tell god god you made the heavens and the earth you made the stars you made the moon you made the universe you made the galaxies you made my heart you made my lungs you made everything of me and this is so hard things that you made the creation is so hard so lord is my sickness hard for you to heal is my difficult situation hard for you to provide is my difficult things in my life that looks so big to me is it hard for you truly we know that it is not hard that is why jeremiah said is there anything too hard for the lord there's nothing too hard so let's remember when we come to him in prayer let's bring this posture of of gratitude posture of knowing who he is yesterday i loved um, uh, i and our worship team uh, pranavi she when she uh, uh, prays uh, prays and sang that song worship song she was saying the gas prices are going up we are having no jobs but god you never change you are still worthy you are still worthy things around us might change situations around us might change but you are still worthy that was so beautiful and that is so true when we come to god we know that we need to bring our problems to him we need to bring our cares to him for he cares for us but let's remember and tell god you are bigger you are stronger i come to you with the elevated posture of faith because i know that this the doctor would have said no the doctor would have said impossible but god with one word from you it is possible i know many times in my life i faced many struggles and i'm still facing struggles daily but when we come to god let us not bring our complaints let us not bring our worries to him but let us come with gratitude and praising god and telling him god you are bigger than my problem god you are bigger you are the creator of heaven and earth you are the creator of me nothing is impossible for you so i hope this will encourage you and me as we remember as we come to him boldly to the throne of throne room of god let us come and speak to him and tell god you are stronger you are bolder you are amazing you are awesome you are able i hope this bless you as much as it bless me let's pray today father as we hear the birds chirping as we hear the sun shining as we lord see the branches moving for the wind we know lord your presence is here we know lord you are the one who created the sky you are the one who created the sun you are the one who created the birds the animals the insects the beauty around us god you are the one who created our hearts you are the one who created each and every one of us so lord you are worthy lord whatever happens in our life you are still king you are still god you are still, still lord of our lives so lord we bring our chaos to you we bring our worries to you but before that we want to praise you because you are mighty you are awesome you are great you are wonderful you are our loving father you care for us lord you see the details of our life and you are faithful so lord i pray that you would see our situation and even though we see it as a mountain in front of us lord you see as a small hill you are able to trample it down you are able to crush our sicknesses you are able to provide for us you are able to make a way where there seems to be no way because you are the god who created us you are the god who created everything that belongs to us 
So Lord, we love you. We thank you for blessing us mightily every day. We thank you for your word that is so powerful and changes our heart and changes our life. We thank you that we can daily come to you and hear your word and speak your word and be refreshed by your word. Lord, we thank you. We love you for choosing us when we were sinners, for selecting us when we were in sin and giving us faith to believe in you, faith to trust in you, faith to be blessed by you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. I hope this blessed you as much as it blessed me. I want to sing one worship song and it is uh, a beautiful worship song. I selected two songs because I love them both, but I will only sing one. Um, and if you know, it is called, Oh Jesus, you're the lily of the valley. I love my God so much and he's my sweet God, who's my powerful God, my bright and morning star. So let's sing together this beautiful song. Oh Jesus, you're the lily of the valley. Sweet Jesus, you're the bright and morning star. Sing Jesus. Oh Jesus, you're the mighty man in battle. I call you Jesus, the master of the world. Oh Jesus, you're the lily of the valley. You are, you are, you are. Oh Jesus, you're the bright and morning star. Sweet Jesus, you're the mighty man in battle. I call you Jesus, the master of the world. Hallelujah. 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 I call you Jesus, the master of the world. Oh Jesus, you're the lily of the valley, sweet Jesus. Oh Jesus, you're the bright and morning star, bright and morning star, sweet Jesus. You're the mighty man in battle. I call you Jesus, the master of the world. I call you Jesus, the master of the world. There's nothing impossible for our God. So trust in him today. Remember that he's the master of the world. Is there a job that you need? He's the master of the world. He can provide that job. Change someone's heart to give you that job. He's the master of the world. He can give you that home that you need. He can provide that financial need that you have. He can heal your body. He can heal your lungs. He can heal your heart. He can heal your blood. He is the master of the world. Let's remember, let's have that posture of knowing who God is so that our situations, our troubles will be so simple to him. It is like change money for him. He has the wealth for him. He has the hills. He has everything. The world belongs to him. He is, there's nothing that he cannot give you. He's so faithful and he loves you and me so much. He chose you and me when we were in sin. So if you have never accepted him, if you want to experience who am I talking about, ask him. Say, Jesus, I don't know you, but come into my heart. Teach me about you. I want to experience your love. I want to experience that forgiveness in my life. I want to experience your abundance in my life. Bless me today. Come into my heart. Forgive my sins. That's all you need to say. And he will change your situation, change your life around. That's what he did to me. And that is why daily I want to tell everyone about it. God is so faithful. Share your testimony with everyone. Let them see God's mighty works in your life. Have a wonderful day. Share this video and subscribe to the channel so that everyone will get to know about Jesus. 
read if you have time read acts chapter 4 but there's so much depth in Acts chapter 4 we're gonna get break into small pieces and eat because it's a big bread that we're gonna learn all right god bless you have a wonderful monday it's a beautiful spring almost spring day god bless you bye